What's going on, mobile gamers? Today I'm going to show you how to dump your 3DS games to your modded, yes, modded, 3DS. So that you can play all the backups and keep this baby nicely fresh inside its case. So let's jump in and start gaming. So like I said at the beginning, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be what we call dumping our 3DS game. And this works for NDS games as well. To our modded, hacked, whatever you want to call it, 3DS or 2DS XL or 2DS. Whatever you want to do. Whatever is modded. I have a 2DS modded. And I am going to be modding this very soon. But this video is going to be about dumping this game and backing this game up. So that you can just keep this game in this case for eternity if you want to be a collector like me. So let's open this up. We're going to pull the game out. It's the very first step. Put the game aside. And yeah, the game works as normal. Take out this bad boy right here. Yes, I have an R4 card shoved in there. And then put your 3DS game in there. Now make sure it loads. Now once you've got your game loaded in there, you're going to shut off your Nintendo 3DS. So, once you got your device powered down, you're going to hold start and power. You're going to be in what's called God Mode 9 at this point. Alright, so now we're going to go down to scripts. We're going to go to GM9 Mega Script. You're going to go down to miscellaneous. Now, we're going to select cartridge options at the top. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to dump our cart as a CIA file and I'm choosing the CIA file just because I'm going to be installing it directly to my device. The reason you would choose the 3DS file is just because you'd want to play it on like an emulator or something but since we're playing it on our 3DS we don't need to do that. So we're going to press A. Now dump CTR cartridges is going to go into the out folder so please make sure you have enough storage space which I do and let's just wait for that to run. Alright, once that has been finished, you can click A to continue, then you can remember B to cancel, B to cancel, B to cancel, and then we're going to push the start button to reboot our console. Alright, so at this point, our battery is running low, so we got to be quick for the rest of the steps. We're going to go to FBI. You're going to go to SD card. Now you're going to go to GM9. You're going to go to the out folder. And there's your new Super Mario Bros. CIA file. So we're going to click A. And then you're going to install it. Don't delete it. Because you're going to back it up on your computer. Press A again. Now it's going to install directly to your device. Alright, so now that that is done installing, you're going to press A. You're going to press the home button. You're going to get a little message that says new software has been added. Open your present. And there it is. Now you can unplug your new Super Mario Bros. game. Put your R4 card back in there. And then, go play Super Mario Bros. 2. So let's press OK. Closing suspended software. And now I'm going to go play some Super Mario Bros. 2. So, enjoy. Have a nice day. I hope that was helpful. Bye-bye!